So I headed out to the river and I wanted to check on the gardens. I have two little gardens there. This is the square foot garden. I brought a few ingredients with me because as y'all know we don't live there and that kitchen is not fully stocked. I do try to keep things like dry pasta on hand, rice, that kind of thing. Um, so I was pleased to see that I had some tomatoes ready to harvest here in the little square foot garden. I have to go on the other side of the fence to get to these. Now these are called Jersey Devil Paste Tomatoes. They are absolutely wonderful. The odd thing about these tomatoes is that oftentimes they will drop off of the vine before they are fully ripe. The top ripens up last and so a lot of times I will um, harvest these and I'll just leave them on my counter for about two to three days and then they are beautiful. They are red, they're meaty, and they're very low seeds. I also had some of these little sun sugar cherry tomatoes so I thought well I might be able to use those too. So I looked around the garden just a little bit more. I noticed the herbs in the center were doing pretty good here so I snipped off a sprig of rosemary and a couple of sprigs of Greek oregano. And the basil was beautiful. I have three kind of basils over here. I have this red Reuben. I also just had some sweet Italian basil. I had some Siam Queen. That's my a Thai basil, so I'm not using that, and I'm using some of this flat leaf Italian parsley. And the Swiss chard was looking pretty good. I only have one little plant of the Swiss chard here. I had some squirrels or rabbits get in here and take my other four plants that I had. So I'll use some of the Swiss chard for a little bit of a bitter green along with the turnip greens too. Now these are called seven top turnip greens. This plant does not produce a turnip and only produces beautiful little greens. So this is what I ended up from the square foot garden and then I headed around back to see what was growing back here and the zucchini has just been a little power horse this year. This is the Romanesco zucchini. It has a neat little shape to it and so this was a really good size for the pasta. And a couple of the things that I brought with me were the peppers that I've been harvesting from my home garden. This is called a Spanish mammoth pepper that was growing in my square foot garden. I also had some of these baclati peppers. They're not very hot. And then some of these red serranos. Here are the ingredients. You're welcome to jot them down. They'll also be below the video if you'd like to print them out. And as always, you can do a screenshot with your device. So here's what I'll start with. So just some of the things that I brought with me included some chicken breast, a wedge of Parmesan cheese, the peppers and the chilies, one shallot, some garlic, country ham. I also brought, which is not pictured, some cream and white wine. And I already had some angel hair pasta here at the river kitchen. So I went ahead and gave a rough chop to my herbs and I skewered the little sun sugar tomatoes with the stems from the rosemary and the oregano. So I decided that I would grill the vegetables so I cut open the big pepper, removed the seeds, I drizzled all of them with a little bit of oil. I also put some salt on there and then now I'm using this country ham but if you wanted to make something similar to this some prosciutto would be great. Um, country ham can be pretty salty. This particular brand I've been using lately is not very salty as some that I've had before so I just cut it into very small cubes and I also cut up the tomato into some pretty big chunks and I was going to just go ahead and put this chicken on the grill so I flattened it out drizzled it with a little oil salt and pepper I would have liked to have had something to marinate this chicken in but I didn't have any kind of citrus and so at any rate I just thought I'd take the shortcut just put a little oil on it with some salt and pepper and I knew that I was making a sauce to go with it anyway so it ended up being just fine so I grilled my vegetables I like to grill a lot of vegetables at one time because I'm just going to make one serving of pasta for you here and then I'll have all these extra vegetables to make a big um, bowl of pasta the next day so whenever I fire up the grill I like to just grill as many things as I possibly can so I also grilled the chicken. I put a piece of garlic toast on there as well. So we'll go ahead and get started making this pasta. In just a tiny bit of oil, I wanted to go ahead and sear this country ham and get it brown. I added just a tiny bit of butter too, and then my shallots. And you notice I don't need salt for any of this because of the country ham. And then just a tiny bit of white wine. 
I went ahead and added my garlic along with the turnip greens and the Swiss chard and the rosemary and the oregano. I didn't add the parsley or the basil yet. And then I added my tomatoes. Now remember, I did not cook these on the grill. I did cook the little tiny cherry tomatoes that I skewered. I also cooked the pepper and the zucchini. So I went ahead and added the tomato along with the grilled vegetables. And because this is a very low seed tomato, it really didn't release a lot of juices. So um, I decided to go ahead and put another little splash of wine in here and bring up the heat a little bit. And I went ahead and removed those sun sugar tomatoes because I didn't want them to get too mushy or anything. And so it was starting to release some of the juices at this point. So I went ahead and added a cream in here and turned up the heat a little bit to kind of warm up the chicken. I just took a couple of strips of chicken, put it in there. And there you go. That was my sauce. I went ahead and added a little bit of the parsley and the fresh basil. Added my cooked angel hair pasta. And it was done. Nice and creamy. I also had my little garlic toast that I grilled and I decided to put just a couple of shavings of the Parmesan cheese on there. I took it off with my vegetable peeler. I also finely grated a little bit of Parmesan cheese on there as well. And of course the little skewered tomatoes and just a little bit more of the fresh basil. It was very good. I love the rosemary in here and I love the serrano peppers. Um, the grilled pepper was a little bit of sweetness and of course the other tomatoes were a little bit sweet too. It was just delicious. And then the next day, of course, as I mentioned, I had all of those grilled vegetables still to make a big pot of pasta. I also added a little bit of broccoli to it. And this time I used a little bit of shrimp for the protein. So it was equally as delicious. So I hope you can give some version of this a try with maybe some of the things that you're growing in your garden. And if you haven't already, feel free to head on over to my channel where over there I have a playlist section with a lot of other different recipes of ways that you can use vegetables and herbs that you might be growing in your garden or maybe you're just picking them up at the grocery store. Thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.